Going back once again to the way we learn to climb on vertical walls, there is a natural tendency when we see a foothold on the left of our body to use it with the left foot. And similarly, footholds on the right get tagged for the right foot. The net effect of this is that the hips are forced parallel and this means that they come flying wildly out as we make each hand move. The amount of strength this requires speaks for itself. Again, right foot on the right, hips fly out. Left foot on the left, hips fly out. So how can this be avoided? Here, Gabby steps through and uses the foothold on her right with the outside edge of her left foot. She then braces her right foot flat against the wall for counterbalance and twists in so that she can make the hand movement with complete stability. The body literally forms a tripod and it's back to the old cliche of three points of contact. But the beauty of this position, compared to using the inside edge, is that the foot is right underneath you, so you can gain so much more push from it. If you're struggling to find the balance point on outside edge moves, then here's an exercise that may help. Note that the counterbalancing leg always provides a mirror image of the reaching arm and that a straight line can be drawn from hand to foot. The outside edge move should be regarded as the utility move for climbing steep walls and you should always be looking out for opportunities to use it. But what happens when the holds don't play ball or if you find yourself out of sequence? Here, as I set up for the move, I realise that I'm wrong footed and so I need to swap to the outside edge of the other foot. Again, the inside edge is wrong, so I swap to gain balance from the outside edge of the other foot and so on. This is all very well, but swapping feet can be clumsy and it wastes crucial time and energy. Surely there's a better solution. <laughs> 